Hey guys, it's James and we are back with my fund versus fund calculator. Today I'm going to be comparing SCHG and VOO. What we're going to do is take a look at each of the funds websites, go over to Seeking Alpha to be able to determine their CAGR numbers for the future value of these funds. And then we'll go over to Portfolio Visualizer and compare what these two funds look like over the past five to 10 years and see which fund outperforms formed the other. And then we'll come back to my fund versus fund calculator and use the numbers that we received from Seeking Alpha and input that into my calculator and see what we can get for the next 10 years. Over on SCHG's website, this is Schwab's US large cap growth ETF. Their objective for this fund is to track as closely as possible before fees and expenses the total return of the Dow Jones US large cap growth total stock market index. Their highlights that they list here, it's a straightforward, low-cost fund offering potential tax efficiency. The fund can serve as part of the core of a diversified portfolio. Simple access to the large-cap U.S. equities that exhibit growth-style characteristics. Stocks are classified as growth based on a number of factors. Coming down to some of their specifics. Their fund inception date was December of 2009. Their expense ratio is 0.04%, so just in line with VOO. And again, the index name is the Dow Jones, or it tracks the Dow Jones U.S. large cap growth total stock market index. And then here are some other characteristics of the fund. Another thing to note that it has about 230 holdings, and it's mainly focused on large growth. Over on Vanguard's website, and if you are familiar with Vanguard, you can see that they have changed the look of their website up. So it might look a little different than what you've seen in the past, but this is Vanguard's VOO fund page. It is a large blend. Its expense ratio is 0.03%. And the highlights for this fund, as we looked at Schwab's highlights, their highlights are it invests in the stocks in the S&P 500 index, representing 500 of the largest U.S. companies. The goal is to closely track the index's return, which is considered a gauge of the overall U.S. stock return or the stock market return, offers high potential for investment growth, share value rises and falls more sharply than that of holding bonds. More appropriate for a long-term investor, VOO is more appropriate for someone who's going to buy and hold for a very long time and its expense ratio is 0.03%, so a little bit cheaper than SCHG. Over on SCHG's Seeking Alpha page, just to look at another independent website, and we'll take the numbers here to be able to determine a CAGR number on our fund versus fund future value calculator. If we click the max here, we remember the fund inception date on their website was December of 2009, putting a, a value, a starting value of about $12 to $13, all the way to the current value of $69. We can determine a, a very long CAGR number, and the entire history is is about 12 to 13 years, so we'll use that also in our CAGR calculation. Back over on our Excel workbook, I have a tab that actually calculates the CAGR number. So for SCHG here, you remember that at the fund inception date, it was sitting around 12 to $13, and the total time period is actually 12 years and a quarter, so it was December of 2009, so that's 12 years and three months, and currently we are sitting in March of 2022, so that's a quarter, so I tacked on a quarter to the 12 years. The ending value right now, the current price for SCHG is 69.25. So that gives us a cumulative annual growth rate of about a 14.78. Coming over to Seeking Alpha's VOO page, we click the max here and we see the fund started in September of 2010 for a value of about, with a starting value of about 103 to $104, with the ending value being 396. We will do the same thing Thing on our CAGR calculator over on my spreadsheet, VOO, starting value, the time period, the ending value, which is today, and we are looking at about a 12.43% CAGR. So we'll use that here later on in the video. I would like to split the screen here and just check out the holdings for SCHG on the left and VOO on the right. It looks like SCHG is 
more heavily invested into technology, where the VOO, the S&P 500 index, has only 25% invested in technology, with 13% in financials and 13% in healthcare, the top three holdings or the top three sectors. The top three sectors over on SCHG is 14% or 44% in technology, 14 in communication, and 14 in consumer cyclical. Their top 10 holdings with SCHG on the left, VOO on the right, you can see that Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and Google are the top five holdings in each. However, with SCHG, there is a higher weighted percentage for these tech stocks. And we'll come over to Portfolio Visualizer to check out the history, what the history of these two funds looks like. So what we're going to do is check out the history from the starting inception date of the one of the newest, the newer fund, which is VOO. So starting at the inception date of VOO, if you invested $10,000 in SCHG and VOO, how would that have looked like here about 11 to 12 years later? We will go ahead and analyze these funds by reinvesting dividends because they don't pay pay a very high dividend and that is the point of these funds to be able to let them grow. Uh, we will also display the dividends here on the bottom and just check those out. So when we analyze the portfolio, a 100% investment in SCHG here in the blue and a 100% investment in the red for VOO, you can see that SCHG will outperform Vanguard's VOO, and this is with dividends reinvested. So this is the CAGR number with dividends reinvested. So you can see with dividends reinvested, the Schwab CAGR number that we calculated from Seeking Alpha was about 14.5%. So adding dividends, you're looking at about a 17% over the course of about 11 to 12 years. And VOO, you're looking at a 14.7, where without dividends reinvested, you're probably looking at closer at a 12 to 12.5% CAGR over 10 years. We come down here and check out the dividends. If you were to continue to reinvest your dividends, this is what you would look like. In 2021, you would have gotten $643 from VOO and $289 from SCHG. Coming back over to the calculator in the first column here, we have SCHG. Their dividend yield is about a 0.5%. Expense ratio is 0.04%. Both of these pay a quarterly, but all that does is just change the output here in the green. The inputs are in the yellow, so I'll change the yellow, and the outputs are in the green. These are the fund share prices. The dividend paid quarterly would be about $0.09 cents for a total annual dividend of $0.34. Cents. We will start with a $0 contribution, 14.78% and a 12.5%. 4.3%. We will reinvest these dividends right here, calculated from these numbers. We'll start with a $10,000 investment. Let's say you are 30 years old as of today. What would you get by the time you are 40? And here are VOO stats. The dividend yield is 1.4%. Expense ratio is 0.3%. Pays a quarterly dividend for a quarterly payout per share of $1.39 for a total payout of $5.55. Start with a $0 monthly addition, 12.43% growth rate, dividends reinvested, $10,000 initial deposit. Over here on the graph, you can see if SCHG continues with their current growth rate, SCHG would outperform only slightly, outperform VOO over the next 10 years. If we added a $500 a month contribution. This is what we would have in SCHG over the course of 10 years. This is what we would have in VOO over the course of 10 years. And just for fun, over here on the income graph, we can see this is the type of income we would have after 10 years if we had about $160,000 to $170,000 in SCHG and VOO. This is the type of dividends we would look to receive. Now, of course, you would not have you would not invest in these type of funds if you are in the close to the retirement stage because these are more growth funds. You would probably switch your holdings over to a more of a value dividend type of portfolio. And then obviously these dividend numbers would increase. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.